a speak in your artist statement about undertones of the desert and your time spent in Texas. How has location affected uh, what comes out of your art? I don't think it, it's not changed that much. I was shocked when I moved to this area, and I still go back to the southwest often. Um, this area, of course, has changed a great deal. I moved here 30 years ago, and the industry is gone, the steel mills, but when I moved here, I was, uh, to say, shocked, just kind of understating it. It was incredibly ugly with the steel mills, the smoke, and it was uh, pretty difficult. And probably in some ways, you know, when I moved here, a lot of the faculty made reference to both the palette and just the nature of the materials with the slip and the clay. It's, it'll always have that kind of relationship, too. But I think that's true of many ceramists. I mean, I just think when you work with clay, there is that earthy, I mean, it is earth. So the way I do it, with the texture, certainly those glimpses of growing up, how and where I grew up, are part of it. You know, the, especially the textures as much as the color. Um, so that impact, that lasting impact, is something that I continually draw on and use in a reflective sense. But a lot of it's automatic too. You just, uh, after you work 30 years, these processes, um, you build, I mean, it's a building block, so you just kind of rely there's obviously a lot of metallic uh, tones and themes to your pieces. Is this something new since coming to Youngstown with all the steel mills, or is this uh, something you were doing before? The, the framing part of this and using this frame and breaking them into boxes is something that I've used um, for a long time, before I came here. The work with the metal, I didn't start welding. I mean, in graduate school, I did some welding, but um, do, I did teach myself to weld here. and. I'm not sure if the reference of you know this area, the industrial area, how much it probably had some to do with it. So with the steel frame, all of this, I, you know, I do do the welding on it, and then all of the shaping on this is done, and the inside of these pieces is you know it's, it's all welded. So it's hard to say. I'm sure that probably that had some influence. There is you know so much the architecture here, but more the impact of, of being here. I mean, it's you live here now to move soon but it is so beautiful in the summers and the fall it's very lush and very beautiful that's changed some when i first moved here there was um there was always there was never any sunsets and it was always kind of a red cast to it you know it was just it was kind of a, if you will an ugly light unlike you know the south of france or sun valley idaho places where it's really clean and clear and beautiful and we do have those days here so i think that part of the non-reflective theme probably came into these steel pieces too where I put the glass on where in certain areas if you cast and it's done intentionally if the light cats just right you can't see into the pieces so that has to do with that visual of not seeing and the light being diffused that so, but so far as this um, probably has something to do with you know, the demise of the steel mill The last piece is just, um, in terms of content, you get references. The last one has to do with uh, rattlesnakes and cow patties, you know, since I grew up on a ranch. So um, I think about cow patties. And I did, when I was in graduate school, Richard Shaw was a friend of mine. We, he did a casting workshop, so I cast cow patties and went through a glazing process and then put the same metallic coats that's on that little shape. The glazing process of cow patties? Yes. Real cow patties? No. Okay. They were, they were slip cast okay. and then had a gold luster on them and I did 50 or 60 of them and just scattered them around the campus and let people <laughs> pick them up. So, so there's the content, you just have glimpses of certain things you want to address and back on those shapes it is um, rattlesnakes and cow patties. So that's a humor too. It could be a country western song I suppose. <laughs>